Good afternoon folks. Um, today's video, I apologize, it's going to be some background noise due to the uh, blast heater going. It was cold out in the barn today and I uh, couldn't bring myself to turn that thing off. So, But there's good information in it, so please bear with me. Uh, he 
you wouldn't listen to me. But in his case, the thing to do was to crank your curb idle up to about 20 degrees. Uh, you would want your total timing to be 42 or 43 degrees, most likely. And uh, back in advance, you would experiment with how it liked it best. If you do that with an overcamped engine, you'll get back some of that torque that you lost by overcamping it. And that might work fine for you. If you have a rat rod that only weighs like 2,000 or 2,500 pounds, and you just bought this engine from some guy and it's got too big of a cam in it, well, instead of wasting a bunch of money changing things, just turn off the timing. It'll help. Uh, the last example is, what do you do with a stock engine? You want to get a little more zip out of it. Uh, the first thing I would do is, I would, with road tests, try to, like, let's say the, the stock setting is 10 degrees, maybe you try to turn it up to 12 and see if it jingles, if you get any spark knock or not. If it doesn't spark knock, you might take it. But what you want to make sure of, though, is to use your timing light and measure how much centrifugal advance, the mechanical advance the distributor has in it. And that's going to vary by the year and what small control it came with and so on. And even whether or not it has a factory distributor in it. Um, because you don't really want to go above the stock total timing. So if the stock total timing was 38, 39 degrees, you keep that there and you work with your centrifugal advance to try to cheat a little more on the initial side by you know, limiting the amount of centrifugal. The other thing you can do is, uh, I guess the spring kit that came with my Pertronic distributor, it has a couple extra sets of springs. You can get the centrifugal to work faster. And that would be a thing that you could do uh, with a stock distributor, get it to advance a little bit faster, that'll give you a little bit more zip. But in the case of the stock engine, there is some chance of burning a valve or whatever if you're not, if it's not souped up because a stock can, is, there's no overlap, there's a lot of heat. Um, but that can work really well. And sometimes, you know, Let's say it was a smog motor where it no longer has the catalytic converter on it and stuff. Maybe you can get away with a little more timing, but don't be too greedy. Two or three degrees would be about as far as I would exceed the stock limits on that.